Sir. Good afternoon. Your name? Sheikh Neha. Sir. Okay, Neha. Can I have your resume? Yes, sir. Okay. Neha, introduce yourself. Thanks for giving this opportunity. I am Sheikh Neha from Khamma. My current location is Hyderabad. I'm in the medication background. I had done my B.Tech in Vijay Indian College with a degree of 7.72 CGPA. And coming to the, my plus two in Sichadar Junior College with a degree of 88 percentage. Coming to my schooling, I had done my in Pradhi High School with the 7.63 CGPA. And coming to the, my family background, my father is an auto driver, my mother is a Hindi private teacher, my younger sister is Parji, degree second year. And I had done my project in Smart Sheeted by using solar panel. It is totally based on sunlight is converted into the electrical energy. And my hobby is teaching and listening to music. This is all about me, sir. Thank you. Okay, Neha. So, feel free. So, how much rate yourself in C sharp out of five? Four, sir. Okay, fine. So, what is the difference between private assembly and shared assembly? Private assembly is providing the services of <coughs> providing the service of single client management, single client application. And at a time is called as private assembly. And coming to the shared assembly, it is providing the services of multiple client application. At a time is called as shared assembly. And coming to the private assembly, it has it provides it provides a local copy in a every client application. It provides the services to the uh, client applications. And coming to the shared application, it does not provide any local copy. It shared in the multiple clients to the applications. So what is a delegate? Delegate is the same to like C plus plus function, sir. Delegate, uh, delegate object is holds the address of the function or data to invoke the function. Delegate is a reference type. There is two types of delegates. One is single cast and second one is multiple cast delegates. Okay, what is the purpose of the single cast delegate and the multiple cast delegate? No, no, sir. Okay, fine. So, what is implicit casting and explicit casting? Coming to the implicit casting, it is it is converting into the smaller data type to the large biggest larger data type is called implicit data type. And coming to the explicit, when the type casting is not possible for the implicit data type casting, then when we will go for the explicit data type casting. So what is the difference between method overloading and overriding? Coming to the method overloading, uh, one <coughs> multiple methods in a same class, same class name with a different arguments is called as method overloading. And we, this is a within the class, inside the class and the outside the method. And coming to the overriding, within the class and outside the method. Okay. So what is the difference between uh, value type and reference type? Value type memory is stored on the stack memory and the reference type memory is stored on the heap memory. And it is convert, uh, reference type is convert, reference type is only for the general primitive data types like string object. And coming to Value type, it is have some numeric data types and the character data types, flow data types. Okay, what is dictionary? Dictionary is a generic class. Okay. Generic class, it stores the data types. And it is a collection of pairs. Every pair contains two elements. One is key value and item value. Every item value has a unique key values. So, what is in smart errors in C-Shirt government? Indexers are the smart errors because the accessing of the errors of by using the indexer, it is very become faster. Okay, so what is the purpose of the interface, and when we will go to the interfaces? Okay, interface when when we are having multiple methods, in, when we are implementing the members of the class, current class, and we have to declare the some members of the future class. We have to implement the future class in a interface. Okay. So, when we will go for the abstract classes then? When we are implementing the same methods in a current current class and declaring the members in a current class and we have to implement about the future class by deriving the base in a defining, the right derived class. Okay, what is, uh, what is static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism? Static polymorphism is also called as compile time, runtime and uh, coming to the dynamic it is also called as runtime. When the method is binding to the, when the method is binding to the compile time, it will execute on the runtime is called as static polymorphism. And coming to the dynamic, when the method is binding with the runtime compile time, but it does not execute the runtime. When method is binding with runtime, it will be executed. It's called as dynamic polymorphism. Okay, what is convert dot to string and uh, to string? In convert dot to string, when we are passing the null values, it will become the value is zero. And coming to the dot to string, when the passing of null values, it throws the exception, null exception, null exception. 
Okay, what is the purpose of the this and base keywords? This is a keyword. This is a keyword by representing of the representing of current class object or instance. And this keyword is used to in, uh, invoke of the current class instance members. And coming to the base keyword, it is uh, it is the representing of super class. And this is used to the deriving of accessing the classes classes to the members. Okay, fine. So what is constructor chaining? Uh, when one constructor is invoked to the other constructor, it is called as constructor chaining. It is totally based on base keyword. So then what is method hiding? When the superclass is hiding, when the superclass is hiding with the subclass, if the keyword is of the keyword is super hiding. So can you explain the what are the advantages of hoops? Hoops. Reusability, easy to implementation of the real programs, security, uh, security, extensibility. Okay, what is an exception handling? Exception handling, it is nothing but a runtime handling. Uh, if the runtime if the runtime error is occurs to avoid the abnormal termination and to write the sum code, like uh, user defining errors will be displayed. So what is the purpose of the try, catch and finally? Try. When we are writing the statements, the error will be thrown in the try catch. Try. We will go for the catch. When we are writing the statements, when we are writing the statements, the error will be thrown in throw like a user friendly messages displaying. Then the user will be finding where, where, where the error is occurs clearly. And coming to the finally, error code free. Others. Okay, what is the difference between D DLL and DX? DX performs executable, DLL is a dynamic link library, and DLL is a self executable. DX is a self executable, DLL is a not a self executable. The extension of the file is .exe in executable, and extension of DLL in the .dll, like hello.exe, hello.dll. Okay, Neha, that's all about that. Thank you, sir.